one of my favorite stories um, in Scripture is is uh, in the book of John when Jesus is going, I think, from Judah to Galilee or vice versa. I can't remember. But anyway, the Gospel writer says that Jesus has to go through Samaria, which is not literally true. He didn't have to go through Samaria. In fact, most Jews would not go through Samaria. Jesus chooses to go through Samaria and he stops at the well known as Jacob's well and there's a woman there and he begins to talk to this woman and what's really amazing about that is first of all is because she's a Samaritan and Jews and Samaritans did not uh, talk to each other. They had this major split because they both believed the same scripture but Jews believed that God and man met in Jerusalem and Samaritans believed that the place of, of worship and the place where God met man was at, on this mountain, Mount Gerasim. So Jesus stops and he begins a very low-key casual conversation, you know. Could I have a drink of water? And the Samaritan woman is amazed. She's shocked that Jesus would talk to her because she's a Samaritan, number one, and secondly, because she's a woman and men did not talk to women. And so uh, Jesus said to her, you know, if, if you really knew who I was, you would, you would ask me for water. She responds on this very logical um, level and she says, that's ridiculous. You, this well is very deep and you have nothing to draw with. Or, are you saying you're greater than our father Jacob who put this well here? Then be Jesus began to tell her about living water. After he finishes, she says, I want some of that water so that I don't have to come back to this well day after day after day. Now, if that had been me that she'd said, yeah, uh, I want some of that water, I would have said, hallelujah, let's sign her up, get her on the roll and give her a job to do, but not Jesus. Jesus simply said to her, go get your husband and come back. And she said, I don't have a husband. And he said, that's very true. You've had five husbands and the man that you live with now is, is not your husband. What strikes me about Jesus' response is a couple of things. First of all, it's obvious that Jesus did not say that to embarrass her because he crossed a major line, several, to go to her and to talk to her. But he said that to her because at the very at the very core of a relationship with living God is the fact that we have to be real. We have to be real about who God is and we have to be real about who we are. That's what really excites me about this Get Real conference that will be happening in Salisbury in September. It is an opportunity for women, whether they are Jews or Samaritans, whether they are in or out of the church, um, whether they have to cross lines to get there, to come together and to allow a God who will break tradition to come talk to women, to come and lead us in how to get real about who He is and how to get real with Him about who we are.